So Mark talked a lot about the four opens, and an important uh, aspect of that openness is the ability to collaborate more easily. And collaboration is an important foundational aspect to any open source project. Um, OpenStack itself is successful because we all work together to build it, contributing the parts that we can and in the ways that we can, and then stitching those things together to make the whole. Uh, it's important to uh, re, uh, uh, reconfirm re and reinforce the uh, aspects of collaboration that make that possible uh, by recognizing exceptional work and calling it out and saying thank you to each other when it happens. And so one of the ways that we do that is through our con Community Contributor Awards program. And today we'd like to bring the recipients of the award for the Stein development cycle up on stage to uh, be recognized by everyone. So the Community Contributor Awards were created as a way to give special thanks to contributors that might not be in more visible roles like team lead or technical committee member. Nonetheless, they do really important work. Each cycle, the community is asked to uh, nominate people for the things that they do, and they're selected, and we give out the awards here at the summit. Um, some of these people facilitate interactions, like um, bringing us closer to other communities and making this wonderful world of open source even more powerful. Some of them, while new to the community, jump in with both feet and start contributing without reservation. And these people go above and beyond, day in, day out, like it's a routine. And they deserve our thanks and celebration. So please give them another round of applause. Okay. So Kendall, do you remember when you started contributing to OpenStack? <laughs> I do, actually. So my first patch was merged on like August 19th in 2015, and I've immortalized a reminder of that on my skirt. So <laughs> this code is actually the projects.yaml from the governance repository, so it kind of gives you a, a perspective on what OpenStack looked like then and how much has changed since then. That's, that's pretty cool. I need to get your tailor's name. Maybe I can get a blazer made or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, so if you would like to start contributing to OpenStack, either to the Stein or the train release, uh, we have plenty of resources to help you get going. Um, the contributor portal at openstack.org slash community is a great place to start. There's documentation there about the tools that you would need, our processes, and the various teams that are recruiting help. Um, if you need a little more interactive assistance, then we have several programs set up to connect you with people in the community who can give you some guidance. So First Contact SIG members are always on the lookout for posts to the mailing lists and things on IRC where newcomers are asking questions. They're definitely the people that will help guide you to the resources you need and introduce you to people with similar interests per project or what have you. At our in-person events around the world, we host Upstream Institute, which teaches you the basics of contribution, everything from how our community is structured to the tools that we use to collaborate. There are mentoring programs that the Diversity and Inclusion Working Group also oversees, and we participate in internship programs like Outreachy and the Google Summer of Code. And here to talk a little bit more about his involvement in mentoring, um, both inside OpenStack and at his company, is Joseph Sandoval, a member of the user committee and a cloud platform manager at Adobe. So please welcome Joseph. <laughs> 